use excuses for being short players, but it kind of seemed like you were struggling with being short players. Yeah, we weren't uh, we weren't nearly good enough. You know, we couldn't we couldn't end any plays in our zone. We couldn't get out of our zone cleanly. We didn't have a lot of answers for their top two lines. They generate a lot of offense against us, and um, you know, we looked uh, a little out of sorts. Right off the beginning, the. 30 seconds in. What, what happened on that? Uh, uh, yeah, we weren't. Uh, we, we didn't execute when it, uh, they were in a triangle set, and uh, we put our winger on the wall, which we shouldn't do. Um, and then our centerman lost his coverage, just lining up the wrong way. I think kind of put put us in a bad start. And then uh, you know they should have scored on the first one. They I tapped it through the crease behind Hack. Uh, he didn't see it come off the inboard, so it was just right from the line that we weren't ready, and then nobody picked anybody up on the way in, so it was a great start. In terms of Hackett's performance, I mean, it didn't seem like there was anything he could do on most of the goals. Yeah, he was uh, he was certainly tested tonight. He saw a lot of rubber. Um, you know, the only, uh, he was off his angle a little bit on the power play goal, but he had a lot of traffic in front, and that wasn't, it wasn't a long range shot. Uh, but he was pretty solid. I think he made a lot of good saves in his crease. It was certainly a very active game for him, so it was a tough game to play in. Uh, and I thought he competed hard in there. I thought he, you know, he showed some resilience in there because he saw a lot, of, a lot of shots tonight. It seemed like most times he's out of place. He's kind of having to go back from left to right. Well, that had to do with the fact that we didn't play very good defense in front of him. And we've got to, we've got to keep the play on one side of him. It, it seemed like, especially with the the Morin line out there, you know, they just kind of. Created offense at will. You know, we didn't have any plays on them. Um, you know, we, we just looked uh, a little out of place out there tonight, so it wasn't wasn't really good enough. But I thought, you know, Hack uh, did a good job of, of doing what he could to keep us in the game. Nice check by Kevin Ichi there on uh, Lenny. <laughs> Send him in, in, into your bench. Yeah, well, that's the way Cat's <laughs> got to play. You know, to be effective, and his role certainly increased on our team with uh, the loss of some players and you know some coughs and some injuries. So. You know, he's got to make his presence felt that way, scored a goal tonight, and, uh, you know, had a, that nice hit, so he's got to continue to do that. He yeah. gave Bert some ice time. I mean, he wasn't playing a regular shift, but, I mean, he yeah. didn't look at him. I thought he was, uh, I thought he played pretty well in the first. I thought he really struggled in the second. Had a couple of bad turnovers, cost us, uh, cost us the, the third goal there. You know, you're out against the top line. Uh, you're five feet from the blue line. that has got to get out, you know, and, and certainly um, to, in his defense, you know, he, he's, you know, new to our team and was was in a tough spot there. And you know, I thought he he tried hard for sure. Um, but I thought he had a tough second period there where he, he struggled with some turnovers. Would you like why? How did you end up bringing him in? Uh, I did. It was just uh, some internal talks in our organization. He had, um, was having a good year uh, down in Florida, and you know, I had actually talked to uh, Mark Morris, who was a coach in Manchester last year. About him. he had a call up up there. We had seven points and. Uh, Nine games or something, four and six assists or whatever. So, you know, we had a good recommendation from him, and we, we thought we'd give him a shot. Um, Is he going to stay or play the weekend? Um, you are hoping to get Pasek back. Um, so, you know, depending on his travel back, we'll kind of see where everything sits tomorrow. Jake's turnover of behind the net. I mean, was it a, a bad bounce? Uh, uh, no, it was a bad turnover. You know, we we had talked about. Um, you know, going up with pucks right away. And again, we try to go back to our partner again on one that we should turn up. It, it uh, guy get, does a good job on the forecheck, exactly what he's supposed to do. He breaks up the play with a stick. And, um, you know, we, sh we showed in our pre scout tonight how many times they, if they stall a breakout uh, on their forecheck, it's going to go right into the soft area. And that's exactly where the puck went. It's in the back of your net. So, you know, it's, it's one thing to um, have a game plan, but it's another thing to execute it. It does seem like on Jake, though. I mean, that, that was tough, but he has gotten it together a little bit more. There was a lot of ups and downs. It's been a little more consistent. Yeah, I, I would say so. I think, you know, he wasn't happy with the game up in Hamilton. I thought before that he had been playing outstanding. Uh, I thought he was okay tonight. He, he's playing. You know, he, he, I think we got to keep in mind, you know, uh, he played 29 minutes tonight, 28. Uh, Brady Austin played 25. So, you know, those guys probably aren't in the most fair situation uh, in a lot of ways and um, without a guy like Pesic in the lineup and, and some other, you know, injuries and we've been playing seven to try to lighten the load. Uh, we don't have that right now. So, um, you know, we need guys to be better, certainly, but uh, at the other end of it, you know, we got to 
we got to try to manage our minutes a little bit better. And our forwards got to make their job easier too. We got to get out of the zone quicker. And I thought coming back into our zone, our forwards did do a very good job tonight. We're, we're just helping them end plays uh, and be a little bit tighter and funneling for back pressure. Um, but we've got to be better all the way around. Injury wise, nothing tonight. I haven't gotten any update yet. I didn't. I wasn't aware of anything on the bench. So uh, if anything did happen, uh, it would be news to me. Okay.